Hello, welcome to this presentation of the International Conference on Soft Computing Models in Industrial and Environmental Applications, SOCO, to be held in Burgos, Spain, in September 2020. The title of this talk is Functional Networks for Image uh, Segmentation of Cutaneous Lessons with the Rational Cards. My name is Andres Iglesias. I belong to the Department of Information Science, the Faculty of Sciences at Toho University, Japan, and also at the Department of Applied Mathematics and Computational Sciences of the University of Cantabria in Santander, Spain. This talk is this work has been done in collaboration with my colleagues uh, Akemi Galvez from the same institutions and Professors uh, Ithtok Fister and Ithtok Fister Jr. from the Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science at the University of Maribor, Maribor, Slovenia. Well, uh, this is the outline of my talk. First of all, I will talk about the motivation of this work, then about the uh, method used to solve the problem. Then I will explain a little bit about the functional networks. Then I will proceed with the experiments and results, then the conclusions, and finally questions and answers. So basically the motivation is about the skin cancer, in particular melanoma, which is one of the most frequent and most dangerous types of skin cancer. If you take a look at the figures that I have here in this slide, we talk about uh, more than 3 million cases and more than 60,000 deaths in 2015 worldwide. This is a very important clinical problem, a medical problem, and for that, early detection is critical for survival. You take a look at the uh, survival rate for different stages, st starting in stage 1, which is between 95-97%, uh, uh, but it is as low as 7-20% to of survival for stage 4. So it's, uh, early detection is very important uh, in order to survive from this disease. But one of the problems is that melanoma is very difficult to distinguish visually from other skin diseases, such as carcinoma and other, other problems. So basically, the methods we have uh, to, dis to identify melanoma, which, uh, such as the ABCD method, the seven-point checklist, the Messier scale, on different kinds of biopsy, uh, rely strongly on human intervention and the uh, one pr uh, additional problem is that the, the different diagnostic results change uh, from dermatologist to dermatologist. So they re strongly rely on experienced dermatologists, but even in this case, they can vary from people to people. Uh, the first step in, in this diagnosis is to classify the skin lesion as being benign or malignant. And this involves image segmentation, which requires border detection, which is basically to determine what is the border of the skin lesion taken from dermato dermoscopic uh, images and other kind of images. So you have to distinguish which is the real lesion from the image background. And it, basically the procedure is, is based on the visual interpretation of images yeah, and therefore is prone to errors. So it is important to determine a semi-automatic diagnosis a method for this based on computer. In order to do this, uh, our approach is to consider a free form rational Bezier curve given for the, by these equations, and then given a set of feature points which are assumed to be obtained by a trained dermatologist from the collection of points from uh, separating the, uh, the lesion from the skin background, the goal is to obtain the rational curve minimizing the least square functional error given by this equation which basically means to, to uh, perform data fitting in order to identify this, uh, uh, this border curve. Okay, so and this means basically doing some maths, written here, the details can be found in the paper, basically to solve the, we call it the normal equation. And this is a very hard optimization problem because it is continuous, it's overdetermined, it's nonlinear, and it's multivariate. So the approach for we here uh, in this pay, in this work is to apply functional networks. Um, to in order to understand functional networks, I, I have this example. You can find more details in, in my book, Functional Equations in Applied Sciences. But basically, the idea is that we have a network which is an ex a powerful extension of the neural networks. Uh, so functional networks can be understood as a, an extension and it's a powerful extension of neural networks in which we have several arguments. The neural functions in functional networks have 
the several other arguments also can, can be multivariate. The neural functions can be different, where, while uh, in neural networks they are identical, and also there are no ways but functions instead. So uh, basically what happens is that uh, in neural, uh, the neural outputs can be coincident, uh, leading to a set of functional equations which have to be solved. In particular, in this world, we consider this functional network. And in order to solve the problem, we have to learn the function phi of t, the tau, which in turn requires to learn the, the different uh, component functions and the poles in, this, in the expression of the uh, functional error. Uh, of, uh, and this uh, requires a learning process for the polynomial functions and the ways involved within this, in this expression of the rational form. Uh, here we have some illustrative examples. Basically, uh, we uh, start with a benchmark of 12 different medical images taken from a public repository. I, I display here some examples just to illustrate how difficult it is to identify which is a, a benign or malignant uh, melanoma. Here you have different examples. As you can see, they can vary a lot in size, in shape, in color. Uh, in volume and others on other properties, visual and uh, medical properties. So it's quite tough to distinguish which ones are melanomas from other skin lesions and actually with uh, in, even among the melanomas which are uh, benign or which are malignant. And here are the results we get. They are, in this table we display the results for uh, the different examples are shown in the first column. We have 12 different examples in our benchmark, benchmark. And then we have different methods, thresholding, clustering, the polynomial feeding, uh, a multi-layer perceptron neural network, and in the last column, our method. And best results for each example are highlighted in bold. So as you can see, basically with uh, our method, we get uh, fitting errors of the order 10 to minus 2, 10 to minus 3. Uh, and in most instances of this benchmark, our method outperforms other methods available in the literature. So, uh, as the conclusions, in this paper we address the problem of image segmentation for medical images of cutaneous lesions, in particular melanoma. We seek to compute the border curve separating the lesion from the image background. The curve is constructed through data fitting from a collection of points lying on the lesion boundary. Uh, in this world, the boundary curve is assumed to be rational instead of a polynomial, which is the most common but also simpler case in the literature. And uh, in order to perform this data fitting, we address the problem by using functional networks, which is a powerful extension of the classical artificial neural networks. And the main conclusions of this work are that the method performs pretty well. It actually outperforms the polynomial approach and other classical approaches in the literature, such as clustering or thresholding, and also multilayer perceptron neural networks, in terms of accuracy for all instances in the paper, of almost all instances in the paper. But the, the, this method is probably not optimal yet, in the sense that it can be further improved. And the main limitations of this work, as we have to determine the degree of the curve, even if it is rational, we have to determine which is the degree for the numerator and the denominator of this rational expression. And then some parameters have been properly tuned. I mean, for instance, the number of neurons related to, this, to the size of the, of the data. And also, we still rely on human intervention to determine the feature points. I mean, the points used for to perform the data are fitting. So there are some limitations we have to deal with in the feature work. So this is the end of my uh, short talk. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, we'd like to first uh, uh, finally, we, we would like to thank these uh, sponsors, the Spanish Ministry of Ed Science, Edu Innovation and University, the SOVERCAN, the Regional Society of Cantabria, the Slovenia Research Agency, and the European Commission through the European project PDA GEAR, uh, involving several uh, partners shown here. Thank you very much for your attention.